people, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, what's going on with the world right now, it's making the creators become creative, more, more and more creative. So I decided I'm gonna start, I'm gonna drop a series um, of, about like helping a man them that are going through these difficult situations, you get me, like um, in terms of like dating and um, yeah, just relationship advice kind of thing. So we're gonna call it the relationship doctor. And that's basically myself, JP, you know, most of my friends that know me, you know, I'm a guy that's had a lot of experiences. So I feel like I'm, 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 I'm a bit qualified. So at least give some of the man them a few advice on it, um, when it comes down to certain situations. So today we'll probably discuss, we'll discuss um, dating when you're broke. That is a right to date when you're broke. Should you even consider it? Is it something you should just ignore and um, like and just do it? Or is it something you should just hide from and just until you're up, basically? And yes, when you have money, it is easier to date. But I'm gonna also tell you guys that being broke shouldn't stop you from dating. Now, I'm saying this because I've 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 experienced it, and you know what? When I dated the girl I'm with today, at the beginning of that relationship, I was broke and she knew why, and obviously it's personal situations. A lot of the guys have this mentality where they feel like every girl is just obsessed with, with money. At the same time, everyone's got their own journey. And, um, you know, I'm gonna say, certain man success has happened at a younger age, certain man success has happened at, at a later stage in their lives, isn't it? But um, there's a lot of things that comes along the way, and I'm a, I'm a religious man myself, so I understand that. The devil's a liar, you get me? So he might make you go through certain tests and um, that may that may break you or make you, you know what I'm trying to say? And me personally, it made me stronger. And one thing I never lost was the, the, the confidence in myself because that's the most important thing. Like money should not change or define who you are. Like that's what people need to understand. Money shouldn't define who you are. So before you have money and what, how you are after money, you should have that same mindset. So I was never lacking confidence when it came to like basically just talking with girls or dating. It never made me afraid to date. Uh, I did tell myself I don't want to date because obviously of the stress that I'm going through, but I always also like kept my mind open by saying, listen, if I find someone that, that I believe is as a, a, a female that I want to settle down with, then I'm not going to, to allow the, the, the brokenness to, to, to cancel this journey. Like, I'm still gonna be who I am. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna see my personality, she's gonna see my mindset, she's gonna see my ambitions and things like that. And this could potentially make the person want to be with me. And which is exactly what happened in my situation. But um, I understand like why a lot of guys feel like it's not possible to, 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 to date a girl who you perceive to be beautiful, like independent, strong-minded, while you're broke. If you date a girl who doesn't want to be with you or want to even entertain dating you because she feels that you have nothing, then it means that she's just not the right person for you. Because having that mindset of thinking too much about your brokenness, yeah, um, being the reason why girls don't want you is only going to destroy you. And guess what? When you do end up finding the right girl that's there for you, who's possibly someone you meet in a church or you met, at, I don't know, at work or somewhere anyways, who you have a perfect chemistry with, gets on well, gets on well with you, you're gonna end up messing it up. Because you're gonna keep telling yourself like, why am I, why am I even, I can't, I can't because like, I don't have money. Confidence should never be taken away from you. Cause trust me, a lot of girls here yeah, date guys that have money, have all of these things, but they don't have the confidence. And guess what? They end up being put off like, oh, there's something about this guy that I'm not really feeling, blah, blah, blah. They can't even describe what it is. But guess what? It's the confidence. And if in your brokenness, you've got strength, you've got mental strength, yeah, it's not gonna stop you from getting her. Cause when she comes across you, she's gonna be, um, mesmerized by like she'll be like this guy like there's something about this guy like i like about him like i don't know what it is but he seems very confident in himself and things like that and she wants to know like why is this guy what why is this guy tempting me like you get me she does she can't describe what that temptation comes from and that's from your confidence trust me a lot of girls like guys with confidence and um 
So I feel like if you guys out there are struggling, you're, you're, you think you're broke and like you feel like you can't get someone, don't let that ruin your confidence. Because eh? I'm, I'm speaking from experience and I'm, and I've seen couple men that I know um, be affected by the confidence only because they're not where they think they should be in their life. Okay? Because success again, everyone has a meaning for it. What you classify as being success successful may not be successful to another brother. Because there's, there's, there's girls out there, in fact, that I know, yeah, in companies that I've worked for who are in their 40s um, on like six, seven K a month, they can't even find a man. Like, they're struggling to find a man. So it's not, money doesn't just give you everything. There's even the same thing. There's guys that I've met, yeah? Beautiful car, got a nice home, like um, a, a steady job, everything. But they're struggling to find girls. Like, they'll be going parties. Back in the day, they'll be coming motives with the man them. And they're, they're, they don't understand why the girls are not onto them and they're onto the other man them. It's because they didn't have that same confidence. That same, I wouldn't say arrogance, but you just have to believe in yourself because no one else is going to believe in yourself. I'm telling the man that listen, don't be afraid to go and, um, and don't be afraid to date. If someone, if there's a girl that has potential and you've seen that potential because you've been around that girl, don't let your pockets uh, define who you are. You understand? Speak to that girl, bust conversation, bust jokes, let her know that you're a confident man. You get me? Because girls like to have a man that feel like other girls want. You get me? They want to have a man that like other girls are fighting to have. So, if you're that kind of guy, if you act like you're that guy, yeah, that's going to up your, your ratings. You know what I'm trying to say? If you're that guy that can stand out, whether you've got money or not, then it's not going to stop you. It's not going to stop you. Trust me, mate. Yeah, we've heard stories of married rich couples where the woman's gone to, 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 to cheat on a man with some younger that's got like a basic like retail job or something. You know what I'm trying to say? Because that guy is giving her something that her husband's not giving. Because all her husband's giving her is the wealth, the finance. But maybe he's just something wrong with his personality. Maybe he's a bit he's a bit fragile, he's a fragile youth, he's got no confidence and like he lets his girl walk all over him and things like that. Maybe that's what it is. So my advice to the man them is listen, yeah, do not let money dictate whether you date somebody or not. I'm not saying if you're broke, you should try to find someone to date, but if someone comes along the way, don't let the brokenness stop you from, from going after her. That's all I'm saying, isn't it? Because you never know, the outcome could be perfect. Like myself, like I said, went through the situation. I'm with my girl now, it's been two years, and like things have just been unbelievable since we got together. And um, yeah, but like, when I met her, like my mindset, I didn't want a relationship. I did not want to be in a relationship, but it happened, but I just, found something great to this girl and then I, I, I my guys are there to testify you get me i said i'm gonna i'm gonna try and see and then here we are today here we are today it never stopped me and in my eyes she was so beautiful she was so intelligent fun to be around all these attributes that i was looking for in a woman and like it never stopped me from thinking that i can't get her i don't know what it was she was doing well at the time, got a good job, things like that. And like, I, I, I was down, literally. But when she she said one thing to me, she said, I, I couldn't even tell that um, he was going through issues and things like that. Do you know why? But she's like, I could see he was very confident and like, you know what I'm saying? He was free, like, she spoke your mind. You didn't even care. And yeah, you shouldn't care. You shouldn't care about what other people think of you. The only people that um, his opinion matters are the people close to you. And that is it. So yeah, man them, do not be afraid to date. And when you date someone, let that woman know that you're a confident man. You understand? Whether she wants you or not, that's a problem. But leave your footprint, you get me? Leave that girl to think that there's something about that guy. I don't know what it is, but there's something about that guy. He may not have that, that nice car. He may still be living with his parents. He may still... Um, you may have a, 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 a dead job or whatever, but there's just something that's intriguing about that guy. And that's confidence. Let the confidence shine through. So yeah, so that's my first episode of the relationship doctor. You get me? So I kept it on a light scale, this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. And you know what? Give me ideas. 
give me topics that you want me to talk about in terms of like dating or relationship um i'm gonna leave my instagram in the description you get me so thank you for watching